going on everybody? Danny of Procreations bringing you another video of the frame restoration. Uh, this is actually a part one of a two part video because I had a lot to go through. Um, I still have quite a bit to go through. But uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in. I uh, appreciate you guys coming back for another update on Jeep. Uh, yeah, so let's get on with it. So here is the frame. This is the frame that my wife bought for me in May of 2020. I started to go through it shortly after we picked it up. Uh, it had a lot of good parts on it for differential brakes, just because I wanted to do a disc brake conversion on the rear. Uh, this has it. But as you can see, it was in rough shape definitely wasn't perfect but I have the means to make it pretty again you can see the mounts are in rough shape for all the body on the outer portion for some reason the middle section of the frame on both sides was good which is nice because all these transmission parts are nice Your shock mounts were bad really rough so i totally reworked those that's a totally other video here is a uh, little bit of a picture of what she looks like now but let's get on with the show this is the passenger side rear body mount that i am going to be replacing here uh, I had already cut out all the stuff. But I had cut out the old section of the body mount. I had all nice new plate steel that I cut with a plasma cutter at my father's house because he has a plasma car restoration shop. Gotta make sure I protect those new fresh clean welds, all that fresh clean metal. I knew I was gonna be taking the rest of the frame and cleaning it down to bare metal, so I just used some rust oleum to keep it protected for now. As you can see here, this is a rough weld in afterwards. I do take and grind it up and clean it after. This fluff core is a little messy. This is the driver's side. Figured I'd leave it in a full length weld of how long it takes to weld in a piece of plate steel 
with this little Lincoln welder. Here it is all cleaned down. Like I said I took an iron. Coated it with some Rust-Oleum. Just to prime it, make sure it was clean. Any of that bare metal was protected. I do not want any more rot. This is the driver's side area where the power steering gearbox mounts up to. It was rotten pretty bad. Uh, I ended up tearing it all apart and plating it all off really nice on the inside and making sure that it was very structurally sound. in the next video uh, I have these shock mounts that were totally rotten they did not look good at all I cut them right off cut out the bad section of frame and replaced the shock mounts with my custom made shock mounts that I made then we got these mounts here those are good. I'm just gonna chop out I'm gonna put the nice plates weld them in it'll be better than it was back these, these are going to be the fun ones, easy ones actually, they're panel threes, just got, just got to heat them and dent them in a little bit here, make sure I got my weld nice, got to remove my bushing, and got to rebuild this back panel, which I have some pieces I've cut for that, and these are the plates that I made and installed on the rear portion of the frame. Offer to it, it'll be nice and strong. Thanks again for hanging out. I appreciate you guys for watching this entire video. Uh, if you like it, leave me some comments down below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can and subscribe so that way you can get updates on whenever I release a new video. Uh, again, this is Crow Creations. I'm Dan. Thanks for hanging out. Ah, super real.